Hello Capricorn, this is your June 2019 reading. Every time I try to do this reading, I get interrupted. But this is for Capricorn, June 2019, full Celtic cross for sun, moon, and rising Capricorn. The general energy is coming in for Capricorn. Hopefully we want them positive. What is coming in for Capricorn? Hmm, somebody may be working on something. Uh, diligently. Now, I always look for a positive reading, but you know, sometimes they don't always come out that way, but we will look for it. We will work through it. And remember, Tarot is here to help, not to hinder. But the incoming energy for you is the Ace of Cups. Someone's wanting to offer this to you, or you're wanting to offer to somebody, or you're just wanting Ace of Cups of an emotional new beginning. That's positive. In the beginning energy, you could be dealing with the Knight of Rods. This could be uh, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Someone's possibly non-committal. And even you could take on this energy. You don't have to be a fire sign to take it on this energy. It's just someone's just not sure. It's crossing it. The Queen of Pentacles could be you. The Queen of Pentacles is an Earth element, Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo, or someone who who likes to stay stable and practical. And they're usually good at finances a lot of times, but that's not about this. But that's what's crossing the Knight of Rods. And maybe you're having a, a difference of opinion of some sort, or you're wanting a commitment, or they're wanting a commitment from you. And someone, it's a, it's a little mixed up right now, though. I'm going to clarify these. And once I start clarifying, I can change up the story. So bear with me. What crowns you or your goal? I'm thinking that's what crowns you. is uh, Something is not revealed. Something is hidden. That's the moon in reverse. I mean, in the upright, by the way. <clears throat> the foundation is the three of pentacles in reverse. Someone's not collaborating or working together with something. Someone's trying to work on something and the other person is usually not, or maybe they're not at all. In the past, someone put up their swords and refused to see, see things for how they are. They put up a blindfold and they put up their swords and they're blocking things out that maybe they need to see. Near future, the high priestess is about intuition about things not fully settled yet. Things are still maybe even a little unknown. It also could be secrets, but it, oftentimes it is intuition. Possible future outcome or advice from the universe, the tower in the reverse. And it means you may avoid a tower situation, a negative situation. You may avoid it. Or maybe the universe telling you to avoid a situation. We shall see, I need to clarify. What is coming towards you? The Queen of Rods. This could be uh, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius again. They're in the upright and they're coming towards you. Maybe you're not seeing them coming towards you. Maybe you don't see them trying to work things out. Because we got a lot of cards that show hidden things. But you do avoid a tower situation or the vice of the universe is to avoid one. Your hopes and fears that there may be like someone may get a little defensive with the Seven of Wands. Or you may get a little defensive. Maybe you're fearing that. Outcome, you get a happy home situation, so, some happiness inside your abode where, you know, where you, you know, you stay or even in your life in general, because that's the four of wands in the upright is a beautiful card. Now, let's start off. What's going on with the Knight of Rods as a subject at hand? And why is the Queen of Pentacles crossing it? Why are you there for Capricorn? Justice, someone's trying to speak their truth and get something out and they want justice or they're trying to do things right. Knight of Rods, in reverse, Queen of Pentacles, crossing it with the Justice card. Why are you there for Capricorn? There that Four of Wands is. Someone's wanting a happiness, a happy home, or like I said, their abode or, or just their situation. Often called a marriage card, but not always. And you get that at the end. So I hope that was not a spoiler alert. But let's see what's going on with this. Why? Now what crowns you is the moon. Now I don't understand why the moon would be there. Maybe it's something that you're not seeing. Maybe you just never expected it. 
and it could be secret. Sometimes it's a deception. Again, sometimes it's intuition. So the moon in the upright there for Capricorn. Why are you there? You may have thought about walking away from this. I don't think you do, though. Someone's or someone could be walking away from deceptive situations, maybe or to, or things that are negative. You know, not necessarily people, but negative situations. Sometimes that happens. So the moon in the upright, eight of cups in the upright is what crowns Capricorn while you're there. It also could be that what happened, but a message comes through. A message comes through. Maybe you give a message or someone sends it to you. But again, this is associated with Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. Now the foundation, someone wasn't working together. They weren't working the situation. They weren't collaborating with the three of pentacles in reverse. This is what's supporting what, what has been going on. So three of pentacles in reverse. Why are you there for Capricorn? Yeah, someone put up their swords. We have that twice, so it's important. We have to two of uh I mean two of the four wands, so that's important. So three of pentacles in reverse, two of swords in the upright, someone blocking a situation and not collaborating. Why are you there? And it cost in. It's costing a little bit of uh security and stability, overall stability in your life. Now, in the past, we have the Two of Swords again. Why are you there? For Capricorn in the past, for June 2019. Why are you there? Someone didn't like what was offered, so they put up their swords in their blindfold. That's the Four of Cups in reverse, and they turned something away. So, Two of Swords in the upright, Four of Cups in reverse. Why are you there? For Capricorn. Someone from the past, someone that, you know, you didn't have such good memories with. Or maybe you had something that, you know, it's kind of squashed your relationship in some way. They offered you something that you didn't like. And you're like, I don't want this. But, you know, your life changes up a bit. In the near future, you got the high priestess. Like I said, it could be so many things, so I need to clarify. The high priestess in the upright, why are you there for Capricorn? Your intuition was right about manipulative situations that were around you. You weren't wrong. So the high priestess in the upright, the magician in reverse, why are you there? You're thinking you're listening to your gut instinct. You don't know if you trust the knight of wands. You don't know if it'll be manipulated again. You don't know if they'll try something that they shouldn't be. And this is what your, your intuition is trying to think about. You're saying, now, you did this before, and I'm trusting my gut instinct this time. So you may have this discussion with somebody about what you're feeling deep down. And you may have this discussion about manipulative behaviors you believe were happen, happening with the Knight of Wands. And like I said, that could be Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, or someone just taking on that energy. It doesn't have to be that sign. It could just be in their chart somewhere that's heavy, you know, dominant. Now, possible future outcome or advice from the universe is a tower in reverse. I like the tower in reverse if I want to get it. Usually, I don't like surprises. It means you avoid a tower situation, an event that, um, a blessing in disguise in some way. Uh, you avoid a uh, catastrophe in a way or a surprising event that would possibly have harmed you. But I got to clarify. So, the tower... In reverse, why are you there for Capricorn as a possible future outcome or advice from the universe? Why are you there in reverse? About contracts. Maybe you avoid a tower situation by having a contract or avoiding one. I don't know yet. The tower in reverse and the Hierophant in the upright. Why are you there for Capricorn? It's a good reading so far. Now hold back. Hmm. Maybe you avoid a tower by not holding back on a situation that has to do with a contract. The contracts could be, they could be financial, they could be a job, they could be relationships, anything, but it's solid. It's something that is considered solid in society. Now what is coming towards you is the Queen of Rods in the upright. Again, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, or someone taking on that energy, a passionate type person. Someone who is a... Uh, uh, fun to be around with a lot of times but not always i mean they're just good natured usually i i think but queen of rods in the upright why are you there coming towards capricorn 
She's bringing strength with her or him. They're bringing strength with them and courage. Queen of Rods and strength, both in the upright while you're there. And they want, they've got a wish, wish, good wishes for you, or they're bringing a good, good fulfillment or happiness or something that's really nice. So you're getting something that has a possible fire sign, or like I said, someone that's just taking on that energy, they're acting like them, that's bringing you strength, and it's also wish fulfillment in some way. That's pretty cool. Your hopes and fears that someone will get defensive. That's right here. That's the Seven of Wands in reverse. Maybe you're afraid you'll get defensive or the people around you or everybody. So Seven of Wands in reverse. Why are you there for Capricorn? June 2019. <clears throat> Temperance, you're afraid things go off kilter and off balance again. People get defensive. Can I have another card for the Seven of Wands and Temperance in reverse? Why are you there? And you're afraid there'll be no new beginning or you're afraid to start a new beginning. With the full in reverse, by the way. Now in the end, you got that Four of Wands, a beautiful card. I love that card because it means it's happiness in your home. You're going to be happy and content with the things that are people are around you. So Four of Wands in the upright. Why are you there for Capricorn? What's going on? As the King of Pentacles, that could be you, Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo in reverse. You're getting your happy home, but I don't think you're quite 100% trusting it in June. You're going to be, uh, I see the fears of you're afraid of defensiveness and things will go amok again. But the happiness is there, so let it happen, Capricorn, if you, if you want it to. I'm not going to tell you what to do. It's up to you whether, whether you want this again or not. So Four of Wands in the upright, King of Pentacles in reverse. Why are you there for Capricorn? What's going on? Yeah, there's a page of cups. Someone's going to maybe send you an uh, emotional message that you like. Maybe someone is also could be a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio for some of you. But it could be it's when someone offers you an emotional, loving message that will bring happiness to you. But like, like I said, you're still, you know a little out of sorts over whatever happened and you're not trusting it. Cause I see what crowns you is that moon and the possible walking away, but you get a message or you send a message in the near future. You're going to be discussing with somebody about your gut intuition and what you're feeling deep down and what you've been right about of a manipulative behavior. I see also someone coming towards you that's offering you strength and wish fulfillment. So that, you know, you do avoid a tower situation with a contract and you don't hold back any longer. But I do see you still not trusting the situation, even though someone's offering you a pretty positive, you know, emotional message or something of that nature. In the end, someone will put the, or the Ace of Swords is in reverse. Some, a lot of people say it's people are, you know, stalking and stuff like that. No, it's when it's in the upright, you're speaking your truth. And it's kind of forceful in the way, but it's a truthful situation. In reverse is someone that may not just blurt out everything they're feeling. Maybe the person around you will hold back on their truth because they want something positive possibly with you. And they don't want to tell you everything. They don't want to end so it could be that something is hidden from you for some of you that they're not telling you everything. I don't, I think they're afraid if they do, it may end everything. So know that because they want an ace of cups with you. They want a new emotional beginning. Somebody wants an emotional beginning with you. Someone new or someone from the past, it don't matter. So you can have your happily ever after with the Ten of Cups. I've been getting that a lot lately. It's like the main energy coming in for a lot of the signs. So you may want to check them out if you're dealing with any of those other signs because they're getting the happily ever after card, a lot of them. So that is your reading. And I'm going to let this go. It's a little bit of a mess, but it's a good mess. And I'll talk to you later. Okay, Capricorn? Bye.